Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Solo Craft. Now I'm really happy and excited that you guys are all here and I am sorry for the lag in Minecraft videos. I would assume they're lag, yeah, I guess. I, I'm not too sure. I don't watch my own stuff before I post it. Who does that? But I realized that I have my FPS at like 120 or like max frames per second or whatever on the game. So we kind of just, you know, turn that down to 60. But yeah, so a lot's happened. It's It's been a while since the last episode. A, a, to be honest, a lot has happened. I kind of went a little overboard. I said I would, uh, you know, make the enchanting area and then probably do something else i don't know exactly what we're going to do but i i i've I done a lot and i want to show you everything that i have done and i i don't know if you can hear it you might be able to barely hear it but i i got a companion so uh yeah let's uh let me show you around this is kitty one and I got another kitty over there. And I get a wolf. Yeah. So, <laughs> as you can see, I, pro I probably, I no. I did do a bit more of a interior design here. I did fix a lot of stuff. As you can see up there, you know, I, I, I'm trying to get rid of the torch spam. And if I do have some torches, they're going to be looking like that. Yeah, I did, you know, put some more detail and things this place has blown up twice i need self touch so it, it did change a little bit <laughs> because it, it has blown up but i did reorganize a lot of this uh as you can see all that's still the same yeah that i kind of yeah so anyways i did organize a lot of this you know i do have my beehives and all that my mangroves uh, all that I did do a little bit of treasure hunting that's just yeah and that's sort of this I, you know I I like to try to stay organized the best I can but sometimes it just doesn't necessarily do well oh, I forgot I had an axolotl I'll add that to uh, something else but yeah, so let's let's go outside. Oh yeah, this is some more stuff. I don't know if I showed you that. Let's go outside and uh I am sorry for what you're about to witness. I am sorry that let's come come here, come here. I I'm sorry I didn't include you guys in a lot of this. One thing led to another and it just happened. I am extremely, extremely sorry. Extremely. Anyways, let's go out and I'll show you around. So to start off with, we open the door. And as you can immediately see, there is a lot of more, a lot of more. Uh, there is more greenery around here. I did get all that done and dusted because I, I wanted to put something here to fill in the space but I didn't know exactly what but let's head down here as you can see I I kind of made it a bit more overgrown I can hear it around in there but our kelp farm has been doing well I don't know if I can ah yes but nothing that needs immediate attention I don't know how I'll, I'll figure that out later <laughs> um, I did make a melon and pumpkin farm I did go off in the design uh, I will put the link down in the description below about what design I went off of and I sort of just made it a bit more bigger but we got a lot of melons you know a lot of pumpkins as well and I put in our storage here so if once this fills up, get all that and then all that. You know, sure cane and the bamboo farm still rocking and rolling. I think it's at max. That's why that's not getting picked up. This one's slow. It's, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know too much about that one. But, all right, let's go back up. All right, and let's go over here. So, I did do 
a bit more texture on the ground with some moss and bushes and flowers right here is the storage area this is what i've been working on now don't mind the holes because for the holes i need to actually get sea lanterns and all that but yeah I, I, that that area over there in the house it was just too small for, as a storage area so i had to upgrade it i did a little bit of redstone uh, i'll put a link in the description of who i went off of on that and it, it was pretty much just me relearning the redstone other than that i did not follow anything else and if you guys want to look at the redstone that that's that's pretty much it it's it's just this Ooh, we're, it's getting dark but yeah just it's not that bad i think you can see a bit more if i just yeah so but we we do have like a bit of everything in here i mean i can switch some stuff out like the sticks the hoppers the rails you know if i find any more valuable you know materials of course we got all of our quartz now let's ooh, let's sleep I, I got a clock everywhere pretty much just because i i never know what time it is you know and better be safe than sorry all right so let's close that okay in the next area we're going to see is this building right here now this building is actually what has helped me get you know not that but well i guess that and some of the moss as well around here so this was my bone meal farm and i kind of upgraded it so we got a bone meal moss farm now link in the description and it, it actually does pretty well for whatever you may need i have it turned off right now but this is pretty much all the redstone for it uh, this lever over here just allows me you know if i flip it up like that redstone torch means that this will start filling up flipping it down turn it off it means that bone meal will start going and right up here is how it goes i just flip this i'm not exactly sure how it actually works but eventually it will trigger yep and then it does that flushes it down and eventually you'll get bone meal yep see i'll just start filling this up since this is done but this will go it will never go below 41. so that's how i know that's still doing good uh over here is still a, i don't know what exactly to put over here i'm thinking i might put man the oh, pretty much i might make this they're not going down anyway i'll i'll worry about that later anyways so this this might be a mine entrance or it might be a cactus farm because I do need to get a cactus farm going. I don't know why I'm going to use cactus for, but I might need it at some point. So we might get that going. We got sheeps, the moo moos. We got a potato and carrot farm. I mean, they're slowly going. The carrots is what I need for golden carrots. And there's a big tree. Now, the tree is not exactly finished because it's a bit wonky at the top. And I still need to add more leafage to it and all that. Oh, there's a rose bush. So, you know, it, it will look better, you know, as time goes on. I have planned on, you know, making some special trees around here. Putting a tree right here. Mainly the signs are just for trees. Uh, I did get some rose bushes and... All these are flowers that brighten up the area a bit. I changed out all this, lighted up the fountain. You know, I'm slowly going to go at it. So over time, you guys may notice that the fountain, if you catch glimpses of it, will start to deteriorate. Deteriorate? I can't say that word. You know, the boat shack is still, you know, the boat shack. We got a pillager over here in my boat. I don't know why. And I'm going to fill this up with boats big boy boat shack will you know keep going i did find a coral reef and so i got a lot of this because i got a lot of seed pickles i want to see pickles for the 
item sorter over there but i ended up not using ice and i did you know get ink sacks and glow ink and all that so before we even get on this i want to show you guys this this is well this farm it uh i forgot it's a crystal farm amethyst crystal farm there it is i was trying to think of it so i found a geode all the way down here all the way all the way all the way all there we go see there's a little geode and i actually died of here twice with from a skeleton if you believe it or not oh there's a geode right there that that crystal actually grew back so yeah so i'll come down here and just chip away these will grow while i'm around the base and then down here you know there's, there's really not much it's just a big cave that i might need to uh fill up and spawn proof and all that towards spam you know the whole shebang shaboodle because uh yeah i i do plan on making a creeper farm because a creeper farm would actually be very very nice especially if we're going to go to the uh end and eventually get wings i might build that over there or over there i'm actually clearing that area out so i could build it right over there i'm not too sure but let's go inside of this and it's a big giant tree because we have a tree farm in here and don't mind those missing textures right there because uh not nah, textures missing blocks because for the simple fact i just want to uh link in the description below for the tree farm but this is it you know i can do pretty much all types jungle nether mushroom uh i, I did a lot of I got all that. I got dirt to fill up my inventory. I did a lot of oak. Oh, I haven't done birch. I did a lot of oak and spruce. Jungle I haven't done. Case I haven't done. But you pretty much have to get it just right. And plant it right there. And I had to twinkle with the design a little bit. This is all out of uh, bone meal. So I have to stock that up. And I plan on lighting this up more. That's why there's blocks missing below. And I do plan on putting something covering those up as you can see I, I did kind of test it out a little bit uh, but yeah let's go all the way up here and we'll see that there is actually a room up here and that I, it, it was a big tree there was a lot of stuff that could happen and I decided to say screw it you know like like look at that, that it goes all the way up here that's how big this has to be like it, it goes pretty high up for this design to work and that that's pretty much i think a tnt setting yeah how fast it could fall and then that's the duper up there i got it all spawn proof though but this is the room i don't know what exactly i'm gonna do with this room i mean i i guess i could do anything with it we're already 12 minutes into the episode and i'm showing you guys around this is probably just going to be a chill relax showing around episode or it might be a little longer. I don't know. Maybe about 40 minutes. <laughs> Maybe an hour. Uh, I did get the blacksmith area kind of more done and complete. Put some shears in here. Fill that up. Fill that up. You know, I'm just filling stuff up over here. Put a crafting table in there. I still got to put a book and quill. Got to fill this up with armor. Got some weapons up there. You know, I'm slowly getting there. Slowly. I don't have anything in these chests. Okay. A flower azalea there. Nothing in the attic. Well, I don't know if I showed you guys the attic. Like, this could be a nice little starting, starting place, too. Uh, I showed you guys all that. And over here. Okay. Now, I thought about many ways to do this. And I figured this would be the best thing to do. Is... You know, I, I might have to add on a few more details to this, but it's looking pretty nice. I do have the lava pit going. Don't mind that over there. That's nothing really. Um, yeah, but it, it's actually looking pretty good. I want to put like a black concrete right behind there. 
give it like a more of an illusion so as we enter like I want to turn all these to the soul soul stone soul stone soul lanterns I got all this as you guys could probably guess I did have yes acquired another fortress I'm sorry I guess missed out on that got the bottles ready which I can put I need six okay you know I it will just look nice I know I need to fill it up with water but yeah uh, so I got all that I decided to fill this room up put iron bars right there I dug all this out got some furnaces you know just just got knickknacks here and there and I I do plan on putting you know a lot of signs here I know that might cause a bit of lag but you know I I, I need it so I know exactly what chest I'm going to be getting into before I get into it and I'm going to make a lava and water farm here with a dripstone I, I gotta figure out how to do that but I'm going to bust down this wall and then make a little thing here so it shouldn't be too bad uh up here I do plan on making it a like a little war room or a meeting room you know we do have this little balcony out here to look around It'll be nice and then if we come up here, you know, I did get some of this done. Now, I did notice that. And from afar, it looks actually kind of nice. So I think I might continue that design. It's not flat. And we got layers on this. I don't know if I actually showed you guys any of this. We got a bed right here, which I'm going to wait for a little bit. Because, uh, yeah, it's getting nighttime. And we got pig on Pig Island, which... You were around here, so you must have swam over there. Piggy, are you okay? Are you really okay? I, don't, I think that might just be Piggy Island. I don't know. That, you're, you're weird. So, I have yet to actually find any of that, like, I forgot what it's called, but that green, blue, teal color looking wood and all that in the nether. I think I misspelled nether, too. <laughs> I'm not that smart, but yeah, I mean, we're doing pretty good. There's still piggy over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. By the way, I didn't build the enchanting room and I did maybe go a little overboard with the design of it. Uh, link down in the description below. Cause I did follow my own path a little bit and I plan on doing a bit more of a design here. I don't know exactly what, but yeah, we got books and lapis for the enchanting as you can see I, I'm ready to enchant but I mean I only have 32 levels and things aren't looking that great so anyways yeah uh, it, this is actually a really nice design I just pretty much put a moss block down bone mealed it and you know I made it like a little perimeter and we do have you know, I did grow some of these trees, but we do have, you know, little spider webs here. And a little string, I think it was called. Sorry, I was trying to think of what it was actually called. To uh, make sure the trees don't grow and they look like bushes. And as you can see, it like kind of cuts off here. I had to dig up some of the sand to make, you know, this area. So it, it did take a while. As you can see, it cuts off right here. Yeet but yeah i like it i might improve this a little bit more put some gravel or you know something here i know i need to fill in that because this is just blank so we're gonna actually there is something i do want to do everyone and i i do like that design that is a nice design i just need crystals which i will need uh i think i heard something Are you down there, buddy? Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> but over here, yeah, I do. Have, I did build a little fence, and I did. I did do more details on this. Okay. Anyways, so. 
Okay. L- l- listen to me. Come here. Oh, what's up? Okay. Wait. Uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> so, yes, I did go to the Nether. Yes, a lot of things happened in the Nether. Yes, it looks horrible, the pathing and everything. It's fine. But I did manage to score me some Netherite. Yes. So I got two ingots of Netherite, actually. And I do. I'm, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Okay. So, so, so look, 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 look. Look at that. I haven't done it yet. Because I want to wait for you, all you guys. So, this is actually going to be really fun. You. Alright. Actually, I'll put that as like a netherite thing. Anyways, let's throw this in here. Oh. As you can see, it's... The tax speed is the same, but... I mean, the damage, it's... By one. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's just the attack damage and durability. All right, so now we have two netherite uh, items. We got a sword and a pickaxe. And actually, this is why I've been really wanting to use my levels on is just these two. And why am I not sporting my diamond armor? Because it's not enchanted. But... Let's head over here and enchant at least one of these items or see what we can get for one. Let's see, Fortune 2. I mean, I'm not too keen on that, but it's something. And there might be some more involved into it. So let's go ahead and do I... That's the thing. Do I want... Fortune 2 on a netherite, or do I want? Ooh, I should probably save it for a fortune 3, shouldn't I? Knock back. I, I don't really like it. I mean, I'm breaking three. This says I'm breaking sharpness and knockback. Okay, so, I mean, I can always clear off the levels. It's not that bad. I mean, I should have I should have seen what a book would get me. What does a book get me? Power. Okay, so that's not too bad. Anyways, yep. All right, so I'm going to put these away, actually. Because I'm not going to use them. I'm, n like, this is, like in game pretty much tools and weaponry i know i know i'm sure all of you guys are pretty much like oh why don't you use it why don't you use it well it's just me being safe you know kind of scared okay so i know this episode isn't the greatest because of certain things i should have i should have done something here i don't know why i grabbed the diamond armor and all that and didn't do anything with it i'm sorry uh, yeah, okay, so I am going to actually go into the nether now and show you guys a little bit of the nether and then show you guys two things, which, okay, I was going to say, which I need to make sure I got something. Uh, my armor's all right, I suppose. All right, so let's head into the nether real quick. You guys want to hear the whoosh with me? And I think I might... I might make this castle my base. I'm not too sure, actually. Okay, so that way I found out there's another fortress somewhere around there. It's, like, way out there, though. And I did kind of carve a path. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, magma s central here. But that's great for the magma cubes. Magma cubes? It's magma cubes. And I don't even know what I said. But magma cream that I can get from them. It's going to be very useful. As you can see, I did make a little, little path. I didn't put stairs. Make it a little faster. I know, I know. Uh, that that was my mining spot for the netherite. Uh, I did conquer. I don't know if I showed it in an episode. I did conquer a bastion that was just over there. Yeah, th this place needs stairs. <laughs> Badly. But I figured I'll show you guys. This is just how 
you know, I, I, I'm going to be doing things for a little bit. So if you see me going, you know, places long distance, but I'm not showing you the nether, this is why, I mean, it's kind of janky and like, it's not very appealing. Eventually I'll be able to get to the nether roof and have my portals up there. So then I can start actually building freely a whole bunch of stuff and have, you know, mob farms like a gas farm. I'm going to have to take care of you, aren't I? Okay. Anyways, let's keep going. Now, this is a bit of a distance for um, what I'm trying to actually go to. So there's this village. All right. Now, I know there's one closer to me, uh, but... There's a village that I figured would be really nice far, far away. Now, I, I figured this would be a nice video just to show you guys around real quick in depth. And then I can post another video quickly. You know, as a more fun and things are happening. But I really wanted to show you guys progress so you guys aren't left out. Okay, so this is the village. I, I finally remember where all my legends went. So I do plan on making like a little hub right there coming down. Something's going to be here. Maybe I don't know. Maybe a villager breeder over there somewhere. And then. Yeah. So let's go over here. This is where I set where I officially have set up camp over in this area. I just took over these two houses. So this house is one of them. This is where I nap. This house is the other one where I just have random stuff. I have a lot of acacia stuff where I can take back to the, I can take all those back to my base. I'm missing out. I can take those back. Hold up. Anyways, this is, I, I will leave the link in the description below. Uh, this is a, the iron farm. As you see, I've stolen all the iron and there's a lot of poppies. It's very, it's actually a very easy iron farm. You just have to create the perimeter, make sure there's no other villagers and all that around. Uh, I should probably cover that up. Eh. But I do plan on building something right here to hide this because it's just an eyesore. You just have to trap a ooh, zombie in there, which I named Zagonzo. Three villagers with beds, and then just this. They recommended this. I don't know. I forgot why. I spawn proofed it as well. But eventually they get scared. Iron Golem spawns in there, gets washed all the way to that lava. Cube dies, and then, you know, the goodies. But this is the village that I found, like, a good good chunk away. What is it? Yeah, we're about 1,000x and about 15 hundred y no y z 1500 z away from our base which is over there yeah so i did trap a few i i killed a lot of the iron golems here which i think there was like one but another one escaped from over there but yeah i plan on you know making this place like a villager area like i got the villager breeder and i got a trading hall which i feel like the villager breeder should be over here somewhere as you can see i'm already clearing some area out and then i could probably make the villaging villager hall like like this like i'll have this but like there'll be like a little area here I, I'm, I'm hoping maybe and like i can just enter do my trades if i want and then just pop back in and we're all good over there like way over there is where i found the uh the cool reef and a badlands biome or at least a little bit of it i'm not too sure i don't know like th it, this whole time like i've done so much it took me like two weeks to do all this and it's just insane it's just i i hear a skeleton I did take off my FPS and I did take off the uh, little sound cues. All right, now we're back at where the portal is. So let's head off towards the nether fortress. Yee. Anything? No, okay. I know I need to, there's a lot of stairs I need to put in here. And I do mean a lot of stairs. 
yeah so it's it's quite a distance and i will tell you guys most of the time when i'm looking for something i'm not going to just stumble upon it so i will leave a link in the description below to a website and you can go there at your own discretion it's actually oh my gosh i saw the ooh. no i made this path and i forgot all about that anyways the link in the description will put you to like a seed thing like you just type in your minecraft seed and you go ahead and you can look at your world and whatever version it may be and just look around like i found that geode of amethyst crystals because of that i found um this fortress because of it because i was like man i really would like a fortress but i can't fly around i don't like i don't have the luxury to fly around the place that they spawn me in is kind of awful you know it's Ooh. all right let's go down a little bit further i don't know why you're on fire okay so i did block a lot because there is a lot that needs to be blocked and here is another fortress so i'm thinking yes through here there's two spawners it, it's a scary world out here and we are back everyone now and while in the nether i may have may have died a few more times um <clears throat> but we do have some things on the board that we can get rid of so i'm just going to bypass all the deaths i had and uh yeah okay so one of the things is that we got a companion check stack of diamonds and and we gotta look for three stack five stacks of red stuff so let's go ahead we go and check our diamonds almost but not close enough all right another we, we got to check to see if we have five stacks of redstone and i've i've used quite a bit of redstone but we don't have five stacks we need five stacks at least to get rid of that and i'm i will not count the fact that we have used a lot of redstone because i more than likely i probably would have had the five stacks of redstone but i'm not going to count it all right we have obtained netherite as you guys saw in the beginning of the episode we have made the enchanting room we've done the tree farm so now we only have three things left to do we gotta get a stack of diamonds stack of reds five stacks of redstone and then create a cobblestone generator now where to put the cobblestone generator i'm not too sure but we're running out of space around here on this on this island i've made so we might have to end up putting it over here somewhere i'm not too sure exactly where and it I mean it doesn't even have to be that big to be honest with you and it could be hidden you know it's, it's 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 not like it's gonna be big I mean all it takes is really is lava water empty block all it takes to create a cobblestone generator and you know I, I think it should be pretty easy I mean we can even fill out this land some more and put it right here oh by the way I, I should let you guys know yeah i cleared out a lot of this so my idea of making it a wheat farm is still going to happen i'm going to terraform that land a little bit but there's going to be a drop cliff right there and i'm going to have the wheat there then on the other side it's going to slope down as well like this whole thing is going to be nothing but wheat and then on the other side over there uh yeah so that that's one thing i forgot to tell you guys real quick real quick okay i'm sorry so this area i've actually reserved for the village so we are going to start making a village probably after i get the wings 
uh, I, I do want to complete, you know, Minecraft, or I guess kill the Ender Dragon, uh, you know, slay the, what was it called, the Wither, and all that. But yeah, so we will eventually complete it. And then I got all, all of this land is going to be terraformed down. And we're going to have a village stretching probably from that like little area right there all the way to that mountain. This is going to be like a village kingdom-esque thing, maybe. I don't even know if it's going to be that far, to be honest. I think it just might be uh, probably f from there to probably this hill. I'm not I'm not too sure exactly how far I'm wanting oh, how far I'm wanting this to uh actually expand, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Whew, symmetry. <laughs> uh we'll figure it out. But yeah, so this this whole area is gonna be a village. Man, he looks so weird from this side. Like it that that just looks weird. I really need to get hopped onto that. But yeah, this this is what I mean, I'm very proud of myself. If you guys can recall from the beginning of the episode, not episode, beginning of the series, like this, this was just nothing but bear. It, like it was, man, four, what, four or five episodes. This has gotten to this point. And I know this, this episode hasn't been that, you know, amazing. There's been a lot of show and tell instead of actually doing things but sometimes you just gotta take it easy and especially me like i spent you know so much time like building this building that that's wonky but i'm still loving it i got that over there which you know the little geo thing the storage system like getting the materials took the longest out of anything the building was quite easy quite simple but yeah, so anyways, let's close all this up. Um, yeah, so I did get more blaze rods. Let me show you. Last thing to show you. I did get more blaze rods, and I do have some Eye of Ender. So we, I mean, there is a possibility I want to get at least 24, but there is a possibility now that we have the opportunity to go into the end and fight the ender dragon which is going to be kind of scary because i would like to get full enchant so that means i'm going to have to get levels and what's the best way to get levels well pigmen is the best combat way to get levels and i decided that i am going to go ahead and build a little little pigmen farm and just farm away on pigmen if i can you know find the ability to do it or you know something I, I need easy levels and yeah i could go and mine um what are they what are they called i want to say lapis lazuli no they're 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 uh um the white crystals <laughs> i am so sorry i don't know why i'm forgetting this uh you guys know what i'm talking about all right so yeah we'll just it, yeah listen all right i'm i'm not good with words i'm hungry i'm tired uh but everyone that will be it for today's episode i really do hope you guys enjoyed i'm sorry again that it was more of a show and tell type of deal and i'll, I'll be sure to make the next episode even better than this one so thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoy. Oh, sorry. Quick zoom there. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. I don't know what I did there. I am so sorry for that. Bye-bye. That, that, you know what? I'm just, yeah. Uh, goodbye.